Today is May the 3rd, 2014. <clears throat> I'm going to, while I'm on the subject of Transformers, I thought I'd make another uh, video here. This is going to be uh, a quick one on a power transformer. Here's a power transformer that I have that I do not know what is. It probably came out of some old TV. Who knows? But anyway, it's the same setup that I used in the other one. Uh, here's the schematic of the input. This is our 120 volts coming in from the AC mains into our Variac, right here, our Variac over here. Then this little 6 volt transformer. That's this guy right here in the back. And then we're going to be looking at um, this meter right here is looking across the 6 volt winding right, right here. I'm trying not to move the camera too much. This, this meter, the fluke is connected right here. And then the Tektronix is going to be the one right here. Except we're going to do it backwards. We can look at this transformer and from experience we can see these are some pretty heavy green leads. That looks like a 6.3 volt filament lead to me. The two reds look like high voltage and this blue and white and brown I have no idea. I mean you can measure it. You'll see continuity between these. You'll see there's a little bit of DC resistance there. You'll see quite a bit of DC resistance here and you'll see almost no DC resistance here. This will appear shorted to a, just a regular uh, volt, uh, regular ohm meter. Some higher DC resistance and some varying here. But we're going to find out what it is. So we're going to do it backwards. What we're, not, we're not going to try to put in 120 volts over here. We're actually going to put in 6 volts on the 6 volt winding. That means that this 6 volt winding becomes the primary. And then we're going to get dangerous voltages out. We're going to get our high voltage and and our primary voltage. We'll we'll be able to determine what it is. Well, let's get with it. Let's hook this guy up and this guy up. There it is. Okay. Make sure you can see the meter. All of the glare. I think I need to turn that one out. Yeah. Sorry for the fumbling here. I just want you to be able to see it properly. And that transformer just doesn't want to stand out. There we go. Now you can see that. Okay, I'm going to run the filament voltage up to 6 volts. And watch the output here. I'm going to run it all the way up to like 6.3. Uh, that's pretty close right there. There it is. Look. See what the output of our two red leads are? It's 322 volts. Okay. So we're going to label it right here. The red is red to red is 322 volts right there. The these we don't know, so we're going to just start measuring them. Always oh, being careful because now we do have, now we are playing with high voltage. And I'm about to short them there. I've got to turn it off for a second. Separate these guys. Yeah, we're playing with high voltage now. Run it back up to about 6.3. You can watch over here. Okay, let's. We got to randomly pick this. Let's put a lead on blue and one on. See, there's 90 volts. That almost looks like our. Uh, that looks like our um, AC line voltage, doesn't it? Well, we got 90 there. 107 there. There it is, right there. See, we're gonna put we're gonna put our 110, so to speak, across there blue and brown I guess it is yeah I actually didn't draw this out knowing that so our 120 volts is going to go across the blue and the brown and the white let's see if we go over there yeah the white's like a 15 volt tap so you can see that so we would put like if we had a hundred volts we might want to put it across there and 110 across there. Yeah. So our primary is blue and brown. And if we wanted to raise the voltage even more, we'd put it across blue and white. There it is. So you, you know what you need to know about that transformer. You don't know its current rating. Let's turn the voltage down here. Because we do have 300 volts coming out here. They could give us a nasty shock. Make us jump and curse and knock things all around the room. And, you know, act really unpleasant. Uh, this transformer, I'd say, you know, from the physical size of it, let me make sure everything is turned off. 
disconnect it. Uh, this is not a very powerful transformer. You can see how big it is. Probably weighs about five or six pounds. I would say you could make a good maybe 20, 20 watt amplifier out of it. 300 volts isn't bad. And actually when you put 120 across here, or across here rather, you're going to get out more than 300. You're going to get out 300 and something. So there you go. Now you now you know that you might be able to use this. This transformer right here probably would this would actually be quite a uh, uh, a good candidate for a uh, 15 or 20 watt uh, guitar amplifier. I'd put this into a bridge, and I'd get get like 350 to 400 volts at probably um, you know 50 milliamps or so. It'd run a pair of uh, six BQ5s nicely. This will light them up, and then we'll put our AC right here. We tape that one off. Put our AC right there. So now you got a power transformer to use with your audio transformer. Of course, when you're doing it this way, you got to be careful because when you're putting your six volts in here, it's going to transform it back, just like I talked in the other video. It's going to raise it, so be careful.